Yo, what's good boys? Welcome to episode 6 of the Travis Scott Blueprint. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're watching from. Now, this is potentially, I'm pretty sure, going to be the final episode of the Travis Scott series of the Blueprint. Or is it? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there's still more content to cover, so maybe in the future we will bring it back. However, if you've seen, I've been teasing the fact that I'm going to be doing a Kanye Blueprint. Well, we've just secured an amazing opportunity with an amazing company who want to sponsor the entire Kanye series. It's going to be crazy. You guys have got those videos to look forward to, as well as another blueprint series running so two different blueprints alternating back to back weeks i'll let you guys know more about that nearer the time but i'm super excited but today we're going to be covering murder beats and how he makes you know his beats for travis scott we made two crazy beats um, and it's absolutely insane this video this is a great finale for this series so you guys have got a banging video to watch today um, but before we do jump into today's video i just want to let you know that you can now sign up for my brand new course, Beats in a Day. If you click the link down below and enter your email, you will be signed up for the early bird waitlist, which is essentially like hitting the notification bell for this course. You'll be notified the day before it's gonna release and it'll give you the best chance to get in there. There's only 150 spots, so not many people are gonna be able to get this course. However, if you do and you are lucky enough to get in, it brings crazy value. I'll teach you everything you need to about how to make beats. You'll get a bunch of crazy bonuses. It's going to be insane. So yeah, if you're interested in that, click the link down below. Sign up for the early bird waitlist. But anyway, let's get into today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Shane Lee Lindstrom, also known as Murder Beats, is a 27-year-old multi-platinum and Grammy-nominated producer from Canada. He originally got his start by working with Migos in early 2015 and is now working with all the biggest artists in the industry. Migos, Drake, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Lil Wayne, 2 Chainz, and so many more. Murder's DAW of choice is of course FL Studio and although most of his biggest hits feature samples from Q-Beats, he can still make some really nice melodies. I think Murder Beats' ear for samples is also unmatched. He has a great understanding of what it takes to make a hit and how to make it happen. What I most like about his beats are the drums. They're always knocking and have the craziest bounce to them. Fun fact, my first ever YouTube video was on Murder Beats and he's been one of my favorite producers for a while. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how Murder Beats makes a beat for Travis Scott. So far, Murder has five songs on Travis's albums and a few more in which Travis is the feature. They've worked together quite a bit with Murder producing one of Travis's biggest hits, Butterfly Effect, from the Astroworld album. Murder also has a couple songs on Birds and Huncho Jack as well. So let's listen to some of these so we can hear what sound we're aiming for and get inspired. Murder on the beach, so it's not nice. For this life, I cannot. Could you sweet? Stop us it. Why is it? Yeah, mama built the saints. Yeah, counting up the O's, I think. Yeah. Drop a pin, send a location. I'ma pull up in that bullet coop spaceship. So, we know what kind of beat we need to make, but how do we do it? Well, let's get into some must haves. So the must haves for a murder beats type beat. First thing is bouncy trap drums. Um, murder beats literally nails every single drum pattern on his beats. They're always super bouncy, really like just make your head bop instantly. So you need to make sure your, your drums are, are literally just going crazy. But honestly, just keep them fairly simple as well. So it's, it's a bit of a trick to it. We're gonna get into that more in the video, but yeah, bouncy trap drums for sure. Next, we've got unique melody in brackets, Q beat style. Um, obviously in most of Murder's hit songs he's produced, he uses a Q beat sample. So you really have to kind of go the extra mile with the, with the melody, um, which is, it, it can be pretty difficult. I, I've had a few attempts at this video, so. Next we've got low pitched 808. This is, this is kind of random, but uh, I've noticed with a lot of his beats, the 808 is super low down, like towards being like almost too low. So don't be pitching your 808s up really high, like in some certain beats you would do that. But for murder beats uh, style, you definitely want to just have them um, as low as you can realistically. Next, we've got chant sound effect. This one is just, yeah, very simple. You know, like the ah, sound effect. Uh, <laughs> he uses it in almost every single beat. So if you've got the sound or you can get access to one, then drop it in your beat and, and it will definitely add to the, um, to the style. Bells or flutes for melody. Um, obviously, you've got motorsport, 
you've got Saint. There's so many songs that Murder has produced where they have bells or flutes or both in them. Um, that, that's kind of like his sound selection. So, and then finally we've got hard kick sound. Um, honestly, if your kick is not slapping, it's not a Murder Beats kind of beat. Your kick needs to be punching, like boost that shit all the way up. If you've got the soft clip on the master, it will slap and still sound really good. So, but yeah, those are the must-haves for a Murder Beats kind of beat. So, those are the must-haves. We know exactly what we need to do now. Let's go ahead and make this beat. Let's get it. So, like I said before, we have two beats today. Uh, the first one, we're starting off with a sound in Omnisphere called Glass Spark Bubbles. It's basically a weird kind of like bell arp sound. Uh, and we just created a simple melody like this. Uh, we, we're in 142 BPM, uh, A sharp minor. So here I'm just adding some vinyl tape. It's just kind of distorting the sound a little bit, making it a little bit more crispy. Uh, next we EQ with uh, Fab Filter Pro Q3. And then we reverse it with Gross Beat. So we've exported out the melody and we're going to start adding some more effects now. Uh, we've started with a gross beat gate. Um, it's just like a one one beat gate, every beat, you know what I'm saying, dipping down. Just adding to that bounce, that swing. Um, reverb 2 and of course we're going to half time it. Yeah, and the melody sounds like this. One more EQ, and then we are going to change the key. We're going to pitch it down, I think, four semitones. So let's start with these Murder Beats drums. Like I said, in the must have, you've got to have that chant in there, man. It's a must. So for the 808, I just wanted to keep it very simple, literally playing just the root note over and over again until the very end where we have a little switch up where it just plays an F sharp. And I just added this underlay for the hi-hat just to make the, the whole hi-hat pattern a little bit more skippy, a little bit more bouncy, and because that is the goal of a Murder Beats kind of beat. Uh, just added some effects to that open hat, some delay and reverb just to make it a little bit more ambient. And of course you need that punchy kick if you're going to go for the Murder Beats style. So the first counter melody we're going to add is a flute from Mellotron. It's called Strawberry Flute. And it sounds insane. We're going to half speed it as I add a few effects to it. And the last melody we're going to add is with a sound from Pigments. Uh, it's called Cassette Lead. Sounds like this. So this plugin here called Spin, which has the little like blades spinning as you're as you're seeing, um, crazy plugin for like detune and like uh, tremolation and that kind of thing.
And that is the first beat done. We'll listen to the full thing at the end of the video. Let's get into the second one. This one is a lot more melodic. Um, I would say a little bit less hard, but it still slaps. Uh, we're starting off with a contact guitar from Jazz Archtop. And it's a pretty complex melody, this one, but we do definitely simplify it. We're going to start with this plugin called Stark, which is like a guitar effects kind of like pedal chain. Um, as you can see, it's modeled off some effects pedals and yeah, you can do a few things with it. Uh, and also the spin again. So let's get straight into the drums again. We're going to go for the same sort of drum pattern, just two step hi-hat, um, you know, punchy kick and snare, classic murder beat style. So this is how you get the typical murder beat snare roll. He's used this in like motorsport and a few other songs as well where he'll just do a quick little double snare roll at the end of a bar or something. So with the hi-hat, we're going to add a MIDI from the Ammo Collection. Uh, if you guys want to get that, you can check the link down in the description where you can find it on my kit store. Um, hundreds of hi-hat MIDIs for you guys to experiment with. But this one here is pretty simple. It's got a few rolls in it. So with the melody, we're just going to export it out and put it into a fruity slicer. You can watch how we do that right now. Um, and basically what we do is we time stretch it. It stretches it by basically double um, and it gives it a really cool sound. I did this in the Wonder Girl blueprint. It sounds crazy. Check this out. So you can see how we can stretch some notes to half and then some notes to double. So it just gives you that kind of like option when you stretch it um, twice the length. And we're gonna add some RC20 and some reverb, just a basic effects chain right now. And of course we have to throw in some sound shifter just to see what it sounds like in a different key. And uh, we're going to structure out this beat right now. Uh, we're going to split the pattern by channel and basically get it onto the playlist and organize this beat out. So 
So I decided to create a top line melody using what I already had. What I did was I separated the two patterns out like this, um, exported out the top notes. I pitched it up an octave and sped it up again. So you get this nice um, higher version of the melody to go over the top of the lower one. adding this little um, perk effect. It's kind of just adding to the bounce a little bit. Um, I decided I wanted to add another sound to this, so I added a bell. It's called Glocken Dream from Omnisphere. It's basically just a simple bell sound, something like, you know, you'd hear on Amigo's song. And then also a synth bass. Uh, of course, we're gonna use the Growl and Moog bass. And we're just doing some automating right now. We want to have a low pass filter on one of our melodies during the verse section just to switch up the beat a little bit. So that's what we're doing right here. And finally, I decided to render out the main melody and half speed it just for this last section in the verse. So those are both the beats done, two really nice, fairly simple murder beats style beats uh, for Travis Scott, of course. Uh, we're going to listen to both of those now. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll check in with you guys with the outro. So those were both the beats. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like right now. Click that like button below and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any new Blueprint episodes in the future. As you know, we are starting a new series next week. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Also, remember to click the link down below and sign up with the early bird list for the Beats in a Day course. Crazy new beat making course coming soon. You don't want to miss out. Limited spots are available. So yeah, get in there while you can. And follow me on Instagram too at Prod by Jack. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.